Good evening, everyone. It is 9 p.m. here in Tokyo on June 3rd, 2022. I am your host, Richard Paki Kim. Welcome to Paki Tanktory Entertainment, episode uh, one. <laughs> uh, the title is um, This Party is the Bring Your Own Shadows type of party. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here. Hello, Jez, Jezebel. Always lovely to see you. Um, I will be playing Final Fantasy XIV. Um, <laughs> no worries, it's fine. Thank you. Uh, it's always nice to have at least someone around, uh, knowing someone is around. Um, so I have not gotten, this is the farthest I've ever gotten in the game. Hey, it's Zane! Well, my other favorite people. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so I'm going to be focusing on just the quote-unquote quote MSQ, main story quest line. I will not be running off and doing random side stuff because there's a lot of main story quests to go through. Um, in the event that I have to wait for a dungeon uh, queue to pop and be able to get into the dungeon, which should hopefully be relatively quick since I'm a, a tank type character, um... I will maybe do some other stuff then, but otherwise, I will be just kind of going through and uh, doing the main storyline. Um, I will, um, I will be uh, reading the dialogue when it's not being voiced by the voice actors, and um, Otherwise, yeah, um, if people have questions, of course, people who are new to Final Fantasy XIV or MMOs in general and such, please feel free to ask questions. I am always um, willing to answer them. I've been playing MMORPGs since 1993, 94, give or take. I've kind of lost track. Um, I used to play uh, text-based games on my college via my college internet connection. Uh, I played EverQuest, Ultima Online, I love the old, original, Gen 0, Gen 1, depending if you talk to games. I played Final Fantasy XI, um, World of Warcraft, and many, just many, many others. And of course, Grand Blue Fantasy, which is really a kind of a mobile phone-based MMORPG as well. So, okay, um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, of course, no spoilers, please. Um, you know... Not just for me, but for the people who are watching. Um, because I, for for once in my life, I've managed to stay spoiler-free for what's going on here in uh, the game. So that's been kind of nice. Uh, I've, there's been a lot of curveballs so, thrown to me uh, so far. Um, I have said it so that I'm level 80, which is actually normally the end cap. For Shadowbringers, uh, but what that means is that I don't have to worry about equipment, uh, so I can just keep going and afterwards stop and go. Is this is this shoulder pad better or is this shoulder pad better? Um, <laughs> so there's that will be helpful. Um, let's see anything else? I think that's pretty much it for now. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the first next quest is uh, started by our dear leader, current leader of the seven, the Shining Scions, Tataru. The Circus Trench. Tataru is itching to share what appears to be good news. 216 XP, okay, it's a little bit of money. Um, music roll for my music player, my, my apartment. And a box of gear. Good news, Celessa. We've had a stroke of luck in our search for the beacon. Apparently, our colleagues have stumbled across a hidden path leading down into the hollows around the base of the Crystal Tower. A path I doubt we'd ever have found it had the ironworks and the suns not added to the numbers to the party. Thanks to them, we have eager eyes of plenty down there, checking under rocks and peering into every nook and cranny. Still, it sounds like there are a lot of ground. To, there's a lot of ground to cover. Haha, 
then we'd better go and give them a hand. Or, sounds like tedious work, but not as tedious waiting around, I suppose. I've been playing my hero, my warrior of light, as a uh, more positive person, so... Let's go give them a hand. My thoughts exactly. The sooner we find this beacon, the sooner we can travel to wherever it is this mysterious voice is coming from. And the sooner we can work out how to help our friends. We have to find a way to wake them up. And before the Empire comes calling again. Meaning we have no time to lose. That is the other thing. The, uh, the big enemy Empire is kind of waiting on the sidelines ready to uh, crush us. So... There's a boat in North Silver Tier waiting to ferry people to the site, so let's be on our way. And there she goes. Alright. Once that loads in. Alright, so we need to go outside. And we're going down to there. Alright. Oops, wrong way. So now, those random noises you heard, folks, by the way, are my son. He's trying to go to sleep. And by go trying to go to sleep, I mean he's fighting it every step of the way. Um, now, should I take my trusty Chocobo down there, or should I take my cool car? Which flies. Because apparently the Batmobile is a thing. This is actually a reward for a crossover they did for Final Fantasy XV. This is the car you could get in it. Uh, the car that you drove around the game in. Uh, uh, Katie was playing that for a while. Let's go take the car for a bit then. I haven't driven this in a while. So let's see, we're heading down this way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Skipping all the quests. La 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 la. Giant Lake Cobra. There we go. Saint Koinok Ferryman. It's going too fast. Heading to the survey, survey site, madam? It's on the eastern shore of the lake, and the swiftest way out there is get there by boat. Take the boat? Yes. I'm not going to read random NPC dialogue, I think it'll take too long. Well, these are the, some of the scions from the building we were just in. The random, the generic name guys are uh, from two of the organizations that are helping us out. Their tata do. もう、<笑> 
ジェシーにとっ捕まって来られなかったシド会長の分まで俺たちが働かせてもらうぜがが頑張れっせハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ I guess. Ah, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Reggie, you're not going to be able to get the ball. Oh man, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to be able to get the ball. I'm going to be able to get the ball. I'm going to be able to get the ball. I'm going to be able to get the ball. タタルさんにそんなことさせられないっす心配無用です私動ける受付なのですあっ、like、my character、セレッサー、has ワテッド、悪い伝えてなかった奥の方はまだ安全が確保されてないから深入りしすぎるなって財団の調査員がって何か見つけたのかおおこれまでの中では一番装置っぽいなその模様なんかちょっとうちのロゴに似てるっす類似品にご注意っす捕らえた。今度こそ。おい、大丈夫か。何事っす。わわわわわさあ。すり抜けてくれるなよ。悠久の時を経て。ここに時空を超えよ。もしかして。その装置が。正解だったのですね。我にその門を開けどうかダメミスコイトバグルスクラッシュヤップ、that's me Now you may be wondering <laughs> Alright, now where are we? Standing in a star field. Again. And now we're falling. Okay. This is. Uni. <laughs> 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 そんな結末のために俺たちは歩んできたんじゃない Whatever that was, we missed it. Looks like that was the、uh, Warrior of Shadow. Of darkness, rather, from a much earlier quest line, so. Looks like we're almost to our destination. Which is above water. Oh no. Black and white, okay. Well, 
that does not seem. Oh, hey, it's the okay. That's the that's the warrior of darkness then. Maybe. I'm using an axe. Forest, which, as far as I can remember, not nothing on uh, nothing in Azoria looks like this. So, <laughs> meanwhile, in Burning Crusade, I mean, uh, sorry, wrong game. Our hero got a headache now. しかし、確かに自分を読んだ気がした。Chocobo, okay. Let's go. Let's go say hi. Seems to be a more gladiator type. Oh wait, hey, it's, it's the dude from the very beginning of the game. Oh, Yosha, there are not so so da. Konna mai o nakani, do shita ne. Wait a second. What are you doing out here? And do why, why don't you recognize me? Yeah, what do you mean it's this time of night? これはまた随分懐かしい冗談だ。俺のじいさんも仲間と遅くまで飲むときに言ってたっけ。暗い夜なんて来るわけもないじゃないですから Oh... We're in Alaska Or something where there's no... There's no... I guess we're really far north or something? 世界から闇という闇が失われて もう100年も経ってますさ But there's no snow or ice. んどうしたまるで本当にわからないって顔じゃないかなさてはあいつらに襲われでもしたか混乱しちまってかわいそうにだって no. okay i don't take drinks anymore from people We've been we've been poisoned and drugged too often. Oh, the next one is coming, so I'll just go to the next one. You go to the next one. Okay, so we're going 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 to その塔はどこまでも高くそびえていたまるで光に覆われた空を咲くかのように
そこから戦いが再び始まる光を闇に正義を悪に覆していく戦いが。We are not in Kansas anymore. We be g l o b e d Chris? Chris? I can't. I can't use my chocobo here. I guess we're rocking then. Maybe you want s e l f o n e too? Chris? Five? お待ちなさい。Oh, it's a Vera. Little bunny lady. あなた、見ない顔ですね。それにそのいでたちも。ご覧の通り、この先は私たちのクリスタリウムです。その警備を担う者として。不審者を通すわけにはいきません。Fair. それで、あなたはどこから来たのです<笑>聞いたこともない名ですね。今さら知らない土地などないはずですが。Actually, I probably should have said, I wonder why I didn't give me the option for Old Dah. So I'm pretty sure I started in Old Dah. Oh no! Oh wow, I remember it was all that way back. When I first made this character, I think I made them as a.、Uh, I, um, the White Mage class first, because back then you actually had to level a White Mage before you can make a Paladin, so. クリスタリウムでは身分や出身は重要視されませんしかしペテン氏の類はあいにく受け入れていませんので Interesting, and it looked behind crystal things. He told Kurata Bakari de Saka. Donna Kuikata was Tayara, Imaimashi. Oh, no, that dude's ring. Oh, man. Dude, that's not cool. That poor guy. ライナー大丈夫かええ、水晶校。はぐれの積み食い。しかも、低級な輩です。問題はありません。よかった。しかし、念のため周辺の警戒を頼む。What are you do doing here, dude? それからこの者のは私の客人だこのまま町に連れて行きたいのだがいいだろうか
sorry folks, I need to plug my phone in really fast. なるほど。またこうの謎めいたご友人でしたか。アナザー。了解しました。今後は自由に出入りできるよう、団員たちにも伝えておきます。オッケー、オッケー。ゴールデンガス。先ほどのブレ、お許しを。クリスタリウムへ
話の続きはクリスタリウムでしよう驚いたのはその活気だ。滅びの世界にありながら生きるために作られた都市。人々は希望を込めて石を積み、死に絶えてたまるかと町そのもので訴えていた。Got a tank, yeah. Well, that'd be hilarious and frightening at the same time. And we are here. Welcome, my friend, to the Crystarium. And there we go. Yeah, it's the, the art's just amazing. Just the, so, excuse me. Now, full and frank discussion in the privacy of my study would seem to be in order. But I think our conversation would be more meaningful were you first to gain a further, firmer grasp on the situation here. To that end, I would like you to visit a few of the Thib Christarian civic leaders and glean something of this world and its predicament. Okay. As you can see, this path will take you, take you directly to the Erythite, a convenience with which I am sure you're only too familiar. Making the rightful object of my summoning spell, you should in theory be able to reach all the way back to your either trail and find a connection to the source, believe it or not. I strongly suggest you complete this achievement before venturing any further. Sounds like a plan. After you've done so, Walk the steps to the next to the other right and head out to the left to arrive in the crystalline mean. This is where you'll find our great collective of crafters and gatherers, as well as their spokesman, Catlas, one of the people I'd actually you to meet. Another is Morin. To reach him in his cabinet of curiosity, quote unquote, you'll want to avoid the aforementioned steps, take the exit on the left, and simply continue straight out, down, along and down until you come to the large doors at the end of the path. The third and final person I would actually like you to meet is Braggy, our man in charge of trade and distribution. He is to be found in the markets, which you can access from the opposite side of the Aetherite Closet. Alright, hold this in order then I guess. In seeking, each out, seeking out each of my colleagues, you will miss, visit the major districts of the city and hopefully gain a feel for the place. I trust my directions were simple enough. <laughs> Crystal clear. Ha ha ha. Ha very good. No. I concede. The layout of your staring was more to a certain necessity than planning, but I'm sure you'll run its twists and turns before long. I'll be here for a while, so 
In all honesty, the true challenge would be finding the right way to approach the citizens. As you discovered during your encounter with the captain, the people of this world are unaware of the existence of other stars, and will struggle to accept the truth of your origin. That being the case, when they ask whence you hail, as they inevitably will, I suggest you claim to share a homeland with the Crystal Exarch. There is an unspoken rule here about peering too deeply into that particular mystery. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yes. Uh, I have a parenting question. Yes, I'm Did you tell Chris that he could stay up until 11 o'clock? I mentioned that originally, then I realized, no, he's got Undercut tomorrow, so no, he cannot. I told him that. I actually did. I, told, I, I said, no, I'm sorry, I, I take that back. When he comes out of the bathroom, you won't mention that. Okay. If he wasn't going to have window Kai tomorrow, then yeah. When you finish making, making the rounds, pray meet me in the large courtyard at the center of town. Until then. The music's definitely... Is, uh... A little bit different from what I'm used to for the uh, uh, other stuff. And I still can't some my chuckle bow. That's interesting. Please, uh, put you there. Yes yesterday I said that you will stay up till 11, but I forgot they hit Undokai tomorrow. So you have to go to bed at 10 o'clock as normal, okay? Mm. Next time I do the stream, though, we'll talk about it, okay? But right now, you have to go to bed at 10, as normal, alright? Wagata? Please, Wagata? Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I wish I could give you that right, Crescent. I really do. Alright, actually, let me go ahead and... We'll talk about my inventory later. My horrible, horrible inventory. The tuning. Tuning to the aetherite. By focusing your senses, you detect the flow of vastly different distant currencies of aether. Your connection to the energy is faint but stable, and should allow you to teleportation to aetherite to the source. So I should be able to teleport back to... Okay, good. It still costs gil. I find that interesting. It costs money to teleport for some reason. <laughs> Alright, let's go, we'll go upstairs first, but... Hello. The Crystarium is home to those who... Ah, blah, 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 blah. May you ever find shade. I thought that was water, it is not. Simply amazing art, though. Oh, oops. <laughs> Almost fell off of there. That would have been uh, unfortunate. Musica Universalis. She is down. Can I jump? Yes, I can. Oof. I guess I'm not going the order then. Oh well. Let's see what we got here. Hello, Brecky. I guess he's the trade person.
New to the city, friend? The spinning head and white eyes give you away. Welcome. My name is Braggy, and I'm the master of these markets. They gave the district another official title, but I'm not in the habit of using it. Too florid by half. In any case, our merchants stock a range of equipment for Miss Dell, such as yourself. Miss Dell? I guess I'm using Venture or something. So finding something in your size shouldn't be a problem. I'm sorry, did you say Miss Stell? Or, um, I'm actually on the Cote. Hi? Something wrong? Let's see if we can check this out. See those two in front of us? The shorter one is a human. Okay. And the taller one is an elf. Wait, what? Elf? The Australian individual over there is a, is a dull gent. Whilst the one with the horns is a drawn. Okay. And then you have the, the large skilly chap with long tails and a knack for raising livestock. Those would be the zoon. <laughs> Which is apparently not the name you know them by. Now I'm curious to know what far flung region you hail from. Ah, the same as the Exarch, eh? Well, that explains it. You don't get much farther flung than that. We've had a few of your lot pass through in recent years, and despite their obvious learning, they flounder over the simplest things. But not to worry. Should you find yourself confused by the local language or customs, I'll be here to answer your questions. Thanks, dude. Your exchange with Bragi has taught you about the peoples of the first. Alright. I'm curious. Market board. The markets are not open to you at present. Okay, sure, there we go then. Alright. You know, while I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and attuned to these shards real fast. La la la. I do appreciate the... the Aether Network. Because... in a game... any games like this where the big areas... even quick hops save so much time. to the plaza for now. Alright. The Excedra. Okay, wow. The crystal towers are amazing. to the chocobo person and then we will uh, talk to the next quest person or I'm not going this way I guess I guess I have to go up somehow some stairs over there so let's try that shall we One of the few times I'm a little jealous of not having uh, Peloton on this on this class. This is a chart over here. All right, let's get this chart then. 
Timino's Rookery. <laughs> sense it would be a lot of stuff underground for them too. Hmm. I'm already kind of turned around. Interesting. Alright, well, I just the Kevin of Curiosity. Just we go up the spiral staircase. So many books. Ah, here's more. Right now. Uh, uh, excuse me, miss. Are you recently come to the city, perchance? I'm quite familiar with our civic roles, you see, and... Well... <clears throat> what I mean to ask is, have you brought any books with you? A rumpled scroll, even? A scrap of scribbled on parchment? Unfortunately not, dead. My apologies. Literature is something of an obsession of mine. As well as a profession. Librarian Moran at your service. And this humble collection is known as the Cabinet of Curiosity. Makes sense. As your powers of perception have informed you, likely informed you, my colleagues and I are responsible for curating all matters of tomes, documents, and other vehicles for the written word. As horrific as the loss of life and land by the flood unquestionably was, the damage to recorded knowledge was no, was no less catastrophic. We few do all we can to preserve what wisdom survived. But tell me, what brings you to the cabinet today? Looking for any title in particular? You may have a spot of academic research? What Not today, sir. Oh ho, so you've been interested in modern history. Splendid! A thorough review of recent events often, can often yield novel perspectives. I quite agree. If you'd prefer something visual to come to the account, then I think I have an illustrated history book for children somewhere. Just a moment, I'll fetch it for you. An illustrated volume for children. Either, either belonging to, either belonging to a commission, right? Like, you are Christopher O. And here we are. Which is the pulpit chair? Make yourself more comfortable? Ahem. <clears throat> On with the lesson, then. Morin is very excited about being able to teach someone stuff. <laughs> Oh, nice. They actually have the actual pictures. Okay. A hundred well, years ago, or near enough not to matter, villains known as the Warriors of Light. Villains? Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Known as the Warriors of Light, slew the Shadowkeeper, the Steward of Darkness. In the wake of this tainted deed, light itself began to pour itself into the world, began to pour into the world as if from unseen cracks. It pulled and swelled without cease until at the day an enormous blinding wave rose up and swept across our star. We call this calamity the Flood of Light. Everything it touched was leached to life and vigor, leaving not behind but a luminous wasteland. That explains that, okay. Yet, yeah, just when it seemed that all would be lost, a savior appeared before us. The Oracle of Light. She stood twixt us and the approaching doom, and by her power did she stay the flood. Thus was Norvant, and Norvant alone, spared the fate of Erasure. Wow, okay. Primal? I guess, uh... Tragedy would, however, arrive in another form. From the blasted emptiness descended horrors of strange and terrible aspects to the devil the few folk who survived. These Sin Eaters were light incarnate, and their fulgent presence stole this night from Narvant's sky. 
Even now, they circle the remaining bastions of civilization, ever on the hunt for us, ever hungering for our flesh. It's... Excuse me. And thus did the world become what it is. Should you ever wish to hear the tale again, I'll be glad to retell it for you. I just remembered I left my drink at the other in the other room. I'll be right back, folks. <laughs> Folks, uh, yes, I'm wearing my pajamas because it's 9 p.m. <laughs> All right, so some warriors of light killed the keeper of darkness, and uh, thus this world's been flooded with light. Okay. Or if you would rather speak of other matters, that too would be my pleasure. I should be glad of the company. Your exchange with Warren has taught you about a flood of light. Alright, now let's go find... Ow. The last NPC. Thought to. Well, the question is, how do we get to it? Is this an actual door? Door? Or is this? No, it's a wall. Kind of hard to tell what is what around here. Nope. So back up. I forgot how to get in here. It's... I guess. Go up one flight. Those catless. I'm gonna try to track down that uh, last uh, either crystal really fast first, and then now we know how to get here. All right, there's the shot. Hooray! Now have access to the Amaro March. Aged Amaro Timor. Okay. So pretty much the same as the uh Sugarable quarters in Illusoria then. Alright. Recording node. Buzz buzz. Okay. Hello.
Great to see a place still stocked with little kids, isn't it? But not here. I'm going to guess you're new to our fair city? Well, for what it's worth, you've chosen a fine sanctuary. The Exarch can throw up a barrier if the cinders come knocking. So it's a damn sight safer than what than here than it is out there. Safer and more civilized, too. Thanks to us in the mean. We work together to procure materials and resources and craft the goods which make city life possible. This is the place to visit if you need a goat, goat minute or a kettle forged. Just don't think it'll be handed to you on a silver plate like all those you'll moor and layabouts. Here the Crystarium, we work for a living. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I see, you're no stranger to honest labor. You don't have that whiff of in, uh, indolence about you like some folk I've met. Still, I can't quite pin down the profession. Ooh, goodness, excuse me. Where is it you're from? One of the Exarch's countrymen, you say? I see. Well then, I would twice as hard to make you feel welcome. Our city wouldn't even exist if it weren't for him, and any friend of his is a friend of ours. Okay. It's really quite incredible when you think about it. They say his grand magic summoned the Crystal Tower into existence, pulled the entire thing out of thin air. It wasn't long before droves of refugees began congregating around its base, desperate for shelter after losing their homes to the flood. And that's how the Crystarium began. At the Exorcist invitation, buildings started growing up, and with the help of some curious relics he brought forth from the tower, the place gradually expanded into the thriving metropolis you see today. The city stood here for decades now, yet the eldest among us swear that the Exarch looks exactly the same as he did back then. He is indeed a man of many mysteries, but for all of secrecy, he has never yet let us down. That's a flag. So if he, and you, wish to remain silent about your shared homeland, then the folk here will respect your wish for privacy. I am, however, more than a little curious to see if any, any crafting talent you may be hiding. If you ought to contribute on that front, be sure to come back and visit once you've had a chance to settle in. Aha. Crafting NPC. Just ask for Catalyst, and I'll find you a niche right here in the crystalline mean. You can help us keep the cogs of the city greased and running. Returning. Alright. Alright, so... Let's head back to... Back to there then. I think that's the last one I need to. Yep. Hooray. There's the Crystal Exarch. Well, how did you fare? Did my colleagues help you form a clear picture of those, this world and its people? Turn some items in. Yes, it seems you're treated to, um, to a most thorough introduction. I understand that was something about chore, but it was necessary that you grasp these things before you proceed. As for the Crystal Tower's origin, you may have noted some details were sparse. The structure is, in fact, the self same one you know from the source, transported to the first in its entirety. It was my first attempt at breaching the boundaries between worlds, something of a tower power through your eventual crossing. And although I do not know which area I tore it from, I do know that his arrival served to set the wheels of fate in motion. Well, okay. What are you talking about? Like my base, the game UI or the layout? You've done as I requested and learned something of the world in which you find yourself. Now it's time I, I fulfill my half of the bargain and explain what has befallen your comrades. This is a conversation I would rather have in the privacy of my quarters, however. I must go ahead to the tower to organize a few things, but I shall see the guard no street with you.
looks like an actor. Rod Tia is. Oh, I'm not familiar with that name. I just think I should know. Sick. An extraordinary tale. I'm afraid I found that some individual were letting in the tower when it passed to my care. Maybe we can revisit that mystery another time. For now, I think it's best we focus on the present. All right. Oh, it was a small update they did last year. I think it was. Um, what is it? System configuration. Other settings. Theme settings. Here it is. The okay, dark light and classic. This is classic. This is you know the old. You know the FF uh, original blue. In fact. Some people are finding it kind of blinding, but you know, I like it. So. Mm -hmm. I like that they actually look at you and same way. Greetings, Nana. The Exarch waits you with this. I have the feeling these two hours are going to be just getting through the first set of quests, just getting introduced to the world. No, it was an anniversary thing, I think it was. For the blue. Yokoso, Watas no Stmist, Hoshimi no Mai Coconaraba, Mawario Kinises, Hanashina de Kildaro Anatani Hanasana Kiriba Naranai Kota Oina, Sono Doremba, Watashiga in the Dai Sekai no Tami was Shiriana Himitsu, Sokodake Gorio Show Negaitai. では早速だが、暁の結名の者たちの行方について伝えよう。Yes, I現象世界と共造世界では時間の流れにずれがあるのだ。Oh ここ最近はずれが少なくなる傾向にある。当面はこの点について心配する必要もないだろう。しかし、あなたの仲間についてはサンクレットはこちらに来て5年。ヤシトラとウリエンジは3年。もう 1年近く。第一世界で過ごしているのだ。まあ、いや、ね。私は元々あなただけを呼ぶつもりだったのだが、世界をまたぐ召喚術はとても難しく、あなたと近しい彼らを招いてしまった。想定外の不完全な召喚によって彼らは今見えて触れられる幽霊というような状態だ。まあ、あなたはある程度自由に二つの世界を行き来できるが、彼らは自力で帰ることもできない。Oh, that's not good. I we we kind of need them back home, dude.
当初は私も含め彼らを帰還させる方法を最優先で探していたのだああしかしそれが難航したのに加えウリエンジェが召喚される際に通った次元の狭間まである光景を見たと告白したことで事情が変わったビジョンな次元の狭間では空間も時もあらゆるものが混在する彼がそこで見たのは未来だそれは現初世界と第一世界が統合されるという未来それと同時に現初世界で発生する第八霊祭によって多くの犠牲者が出るということそしてあーオッケー I mean I was intending to help you with your world anyways but this makes it even oh god fine その犠牲者の中に暁の英雄あなたも含まれていたというのだジタイオモクミタカレラバイツセカイノアカセカイノトゴウフセクコトガデキナイカトケントウシハジメタ。They would. They're good folk. タマシーはゲンショセカイニアラツトム。カレラバカノセカイトアナタノタメニタタカイツズケティタノダ。結果分かったのが第一世界を脅かしている罪食いの脅威これを打破することができれば世界の統合を零細を防げるかもしれないということだ What icon is that, Crescent? What emote, brother? その原理については私が今語ったとて到底信じられるものではないだろう。Yeah, you know, I'm a little, little doubtful there, buddy. <sighs> まずは、各地で活動している仲間と再会し、彼らから話を聞いてみるといい。当然、再会の手助けは惜しまないし、共に戦ってくれるかを決めるのも、その後で構わない。I guess it's good that you're not in a hurry then. Um, Karela, or Moto no Sekai, and Kikan Sasser Ho Ho Ni Tsuitem. It's Kakanarazu. What does she got to me? I imagine it will take the expansion to find a way to get us home somehow. <laughs> ありがとう。信用を裏切ることのないよう、全力を尽くすよ。さて、そうと決まれば、仲間に会いに行くために、旅の支度を整えてもらわなければ。世界を移動したことで、体に負担もかかっているだろう。あなたの部屋を用意させるから、休息も取るといい。案内しよう。Man, if my warrior wake still drank, I think she'd be drinking hard right now.
The Crystarium boasts a number of residential districts, but I have been informed that a room has just become available at the Pendants. Which, as it turns out, is perfect. Our path there will take us past the markets, and I was hoping to give you my own introduction to the wares. Come along. Hey, it's some more foreign chair. I wonder who that is. How's it going, Mona? Level 90. Look at you and your fancy gear. <laughs> if we get to the point where uh, I had to hit, hit a dungeon for a thing, of course, folks who are watching, if you can get to my server here, Excalibur, you can see that right here. Uh, of course, feel free to let me know and you can uh, go together. So, I'm going to go ahead and start going down with quest here. We'll be going till 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, I'd go no longer normally, except uh, my kid has his Undokai tomorrow, his field day event. I want to make sure I can wake up early enough to uh, to be able to uh, watch and not fall asleep during it. So gemstone trader, interesting. All right. I like that effectively Doctor Strange is showing me around the city. Aratamete, koko ga Crystalium no akinai no chushin, mujikai universalis da. Tabi no shitaku o suru toki ni wa, zehi liyou shite hoshi. Really? How does that work? こちらでも光の反乱以前は大国が発行する通貨が流通していたのだが反乱以後は混迷を極めてねなるほど効果の金属としての価値を価格とするシンプルな方法に落ち着いたのだ。オールライト。この町ではクリスタルタワー内部から発見されたアラグという文明の貨幣を参考にして価格の単位をギルと定めた。はあ、オッケー。そしてその単位は私たちの商いとともに各地へと
that voice sounds so familiar. Is that Tegatasu? I'll have to look it up after this.彼女は遥か遠くから来た私の友人だ。その故郷と二の槍取りをしたいと思っているのだが、お前の力を借りることはできるだろうか。まあ、あなた。Yeah, it's totally Takitatsu Ayana. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. I think that's Takitatsu Ayana. I'm kind of curious now. Feo Un. Yeah, yeah, it's If you want to get a job, I'll get a job. Make a pact with a fairy. Oh no, Takashi Minami. Okay. Um. Yes. Yes and yes. I kind of have concerns about making a pact with a fairy. Um, you know, just just a little bit of a concern. それなら向こうであなたを待っているものにひとまずの無事と状況を伝えてはどうだろうかタタロ or Krill I think Kuri would be less freaked out by it And I think she'd be... Uh, God, this is a hard one. I don't know. Tataru. She was the last one who saw me. Transdimensional beings. Are a pixie zok to you. My whole save it's niche kashi shizokunanda. Tsua Nakanaka Hitonomachini are our name. Naka de Mokoki Shin will say Nakanojoa. Kuristarium will kini to create a yodene. Sate Sugiko so another no hairy and nice you. Takashi Minami is a former AKB. So she's not normally a voice actor, but, you know. My guess is maybe she found out, they found out she's a fan of the game or something. As a result of your pack with FAO Ul, you now have access to delivery removals, record boards, and summoning bells while in the first. Yay! So I guess our world is the source, then. 
Still no access to my chocobo though. That makes me a little sad. I'm going that way. Alright. There you are. I was just finalizing the matter of your accommodation. You will have a private room here at the Penance for your duration of your stay. To make use of it, make use of it as you see fit. When you are ready to retire, the manager will show you to your lodgings. Pray rest and recuperate, and we shall reconvene in the ocular none. I believe that covers all the practical concerns. Thank you for answering my call, Celeste. We are, denied, we are denied the comforting blanket of night, but many peaceful dream, but may peaceful dreams attend to you nonetheless. A mender, that's good to have. A pleasure to meet you, miss. I welcome to your new home at the Pendants. Your room is ready. Do you care to retire? Actually, no other quests or anything like that right now, right? Forward, but it's fine. Yes. There's my glamour cabinet, good. お前は原子世界の光の戦士どうしてここにお前は原子世界の光の戦士どうしてここにお前は原子世界の光の戦士どうしてここにお前は原子世界の光の戦士どうしてここにお前は原子世界の光の戦士どうしてここにお前は原子
消えたよ俺だけを残してな Wait, what? なあ今はいつだ光の反乱からどれだけ時が経った俺はもう何に触れることもできないこの姿は誰にも見えずどれだけ叫ぼうと声が届くことはないたださまようことしかできない亡霊なんだよ長い間歩き続けた気もするがいつしか自分の形も見失って意識も曖昧になっていた。ここにいたお前はなぜ俺が見えるそもそもどうしてここにいるんだ About that. <coughs> 第一世界を救うためにお前が呼ばれたわけか。バカだな世界は決して救われないし世界を救おうとするやつはもっと救われない、we'll、save this world. 少なくとも俺はもうさまよっているうちに戦っていた理由さえ忘れたよ。こうしてお前と巡り合ったのもお前にだけ俺が見えるのも理屈はわからないが意味のあることかもしれない俺は俺が残された意味を知りたい今度こそ旅を終わりにしたいんだ I'm going to go to the battle. 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 But how does it feel? I like that. It's a nice touch to it. Man, I sleep without a blanket on? That's hardcore. <laughs> yep, we're still actually here.
And of course, as always, the music was just amazing. Crystal XR. Hey, how was the weather? It was a little bit warm, but it was okay. Kind of. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can hear it, I'll tell you again. After everything we're going through, multi-dimensional hopping, world being eaten by sin eaters, you're finding ghosts hard to believe, dude. Seriously? Okay. So, let's go ahead. アカツキの仲間たちの現在地を説明しよう。これが光の氾濫を逃れて残っている地域。ノルブラントの暫定地図だ。この辺りがクリスタリウムのあるレイクランドと呼ばれる一帯。北には妖精教をイルメグここにはウリエンジが滞在している、okay. 東には古くに栄えたラケティカ大神林ヤシトラが拠点にしている場所だ first, しかしこれらの地域は侵入に少々準備がいる of course gosh Frassin, Frassin. What do I have to unlock first? Maza, Crystalium, can a Hikoju the Choko de Kirtochini, Arifine, Arize, the Saikai, was the Kitaro. Arifino Gaidua, Nishno Minu, Kabu, Korusia Toda, Coconiva, Kijinia, Humo Gatsdo, Daitoshi, Yurumo. 彼は世界を救う足がかりとしてまず人を知り人脈を得ることを選んだのさ、uh, 今は当地で情報収集に当たっていると聞く、okay, 一方アリゼイがいるのは南に広がる乾いた地アムアレーンだここは光の氾濫によって一切の無になってしまった大地との境目人が存在できる限界域であり住み食いとの戦いも多いアリゼイは兄と異なりまず敵を知るべきだと言ってね己の鍛錬も兼ねてかの地で用心棒をしているらしい、okay. アルフィノのいるコルシア島とアリゼイのいるアムアレーン訪ねるのはどちらが先でも構わない行きたい方が決まり次第声をかけてくれればすぐに移動の手配をしようああサンクレットについてはそうだなある人物と共に流しの積み食いハンターをやっているというところだ Oh really? すぐに再会するのは難しいが、時が来れば必ず巡り会えるだろう。w 
would you folks recommend I go for Alise first or Alfini Alfina first? It doesn't actually change anything, right? Because I'm leaning towards Ali Seo personally myself for a number of reasons, but if it, change, if it doesn't change anything, then I'll probably just go for Ali Seo first. Lono, do you have any uh, suggestions? I mean, I doubt it. to the source. Nice. Oh, okay. Let's go with Elise then. Ready to part for Arm... the Amorang? Elise will be overjoyed to see you safe. I know she was particularly concerned for your well-being. She uh, impressed upon me how regrettable the timing of her summoning was. Repeatedly. Yeah, I bet she did. I only hope that my part in sending you to her will garner me some measure of forgiveness. Here, this is a letter of introduction addressed to a man named Kassard, the master of a Martian caravan. There are few who know his ways of the desert as well as he does. Find him at the Amara launch, and he'll see that you reach your destination. I'll have to get both quests. You will visit Alphina and Colisia then? Excellent. And I mentioned, your destination is an island off the west coast, so you'll need to make not capable of making the journey. Here's a letter of introduction. Presented to Zem Jin Mai, the master of the beast at uh, Timidos Rookery, and he will take care of you. When you see Alphina, be sure to pass on my warmest regards. sudden just a ton of quests. Okay, two of those for three. What's the one we want to do to I believe? There's nothing else to the dude here with a quest that looks like it has board uh huh okay uh huh okay we need to go up Usually quests like that are either uh, dungeon unlocks or the current quests, so 
I'm not planning on doing any other side quests unless someone tells me that, like, hey, this will be good for something or other. Hold a moment, Sinner. You're not from around here, are you? A fellow wandering soul? And a troll inhabitant of the road? I thought so. A release of the game. My inspiration to travel, to travel the whole wide world. Although it's a bit smaller than it used to be, so as far as dreams go, it's a lot more realistic than you might think. But danger still looks around every corner and every bend. Even so, this sinner still got nerves to seal. He's a born explorer, Aora. There's no land too distant or place too forbidden. No, I think this is the, um... The, what's it called? The, uh... Sightseeing quests, right? Well, may as well unlock that too, then. Okay. For that. Meanwhile, let's go over there. A lot of these quests are uh, all about, seem to be about uh, leveling you down. I mean, I don't mind walking in and crushing them, but, you know. For work. I might have a spot for another guard. Oh! Oh! A friend of the XR! Hoping to meet someone at Amarang, are you? Then I shall be your guide. I'm going to set off our outpost there, as a matter of fact, so we can leave right away. Assuming you have everything you need? Don't think I need anything else at this point. And geared up. So, yeah, let's do this. All set, and off to the unforgiving sands we go. You now travel to Amarang. Speak with the adroit Amaro teamer to fly to the desert. You can also use it in a compass. Okay, of course. アムアレン。その乾いた土地にあった国は、ナバスアレンと言った。昔、そこを旅した時に、日に焼けた老人が教えてくれたことがある。彼らの言葉で、アムは偉大な、アレンは大地なのだという。光の反乱があり、かの国も滅びた今、人はどんな思いでその名を呼ぶのだろうか。Uh, that was uh, Ardbert. That's uh, Jinichi Suave. No matter how tired I come here, the heat never fails to catch me off guard. Don't be surprised when temperature drops at night, though. The sky is still bright, of course, just brisk enough to make you shiver. Now, the Azar's letter says take you to the end of Journey's Head, which is where this Aliza friend of yours is staying. But the fair odd distance. So I propose we make a stop in uh, Mord Souk to break up the trek. Allow me to attend some business and you to enjoy the local hospitality. Sound good? Good. Alright, you lot, I'm off. I better not see the goods covered in sand when I get back. <laughs> nice. Right, we hit southwest, straight as an arrow. Okay, I guess I just couldn't use my pickle to ruin the city. Turn 50 to the southwest, which is where we're going, so there we go. That is a big ass uh, 
subway tender there. Stop here a moment. This is your first visit to Amorang, has it not? Before you were sent, you need to turn around and feast your eyes on that. Yeah, the narrator, the narrator voice is almost, I'm almost guaranteed it's Ardbert. So, they built them big, didn't they? That's Castle Charles, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of uh, Navathir Arang. See what was left behind. I believe it when they say it was once the uh, once one of Norman's mightiest nations. At least until the flood came along. Great chunks of Navathir's saint lands were lost to the light, its great city included. The few who survived didn't see much point in staying. Most of them, anyway. No, not many choose to come here these days, not with everything in ruins. Even the hulking great fortress has become little more than an Amaro roost for me and my caravan. But not everywhere is a desert to this place. Just wait till you see more soup. Let's press on, shall we? Sure, let's go. Second, sir. Excuse me. The hell? It's a robot dragon. I mean, you already know this, Lono, but I hate you. I want you to know that. <sighs> robots. God damn it. Robots in this game. What thing? <sighs> Let me guess. It's a rare drop from some raid, huh? <laughs> the music here is great. Getting the Vulcan tunes. Kinda. Kinda there, Larkstar. All of the mounts for the extreme dungeons. Oh, is that all? Alright, well. That'll be a while, I guess. Talk to you. Get this done real fast. Alright, now we'll go talk to the quest giver. Now, does it transform? Or no? If it doesn't transform, I'm not as excited about it then. Seven rare drops, okay. Here we are. Mord Souk. By the Blessed Shadow, I love this town. Alright, one sixth of the way to level 81. Kessar stands at the entrance of Mord Sud, Mord Souk. An eager smile on his face. Mord Souk. Not just full of Mord, but humans and all manner of others, too. It has long been a refuge for folk displaced by the flood. 
for the population is nothing but not diverse. Oh, have you met a Mord before? They might look like little shifty little blighters, but are a more welcoming lot you can never wish to meet. Speaking of which, we should pay our respects to Master Gen Gen. I'll go ahead and let him know we've arrived. I like that you came here ahead of me, because you knew I'd be heading this way, just to show off your friggin' mount. So mords are just kind of like goblins or kobolds then. Why are you grinding faith out of curiosity? That I will never get over their faces. It's a little weird. <laughs> That's a kobold. Gengen-san, this is the one who talked to the Sui-Shou Kou. モルドスークに横ざね。モルドスークはモルドの位置って意味でな。その名の通り、今となってはアムアレーンで最大の賑やかな市場があるのさ。ああ。オッケー。ここらの鉱山で採れる鉱石はもちろん、他では見かけない面
よって見てって買ってって<笑> That's cute. I like that. こらこらみんな落ち着くねこちらの人はまだしばらく荒野を旅するそうよかさばるもの重たいもの壺よくないね<笑>旅するには元気がいるね発害はロンロンのうごめく食料品店で何か食べてくのおすすめよ That kind of makes sense, actually. <laughs> I was like, oh man. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. Hatsukai. Hatsukai ka. Nice. Yeah, first purchase. Literally, first purchase. Welcome to Ron Ron's Traveler. I have wares to empty your purse and fill your belly. Take your time. Stare and sniff before you choose, but no drooling in the merchandise, yes? Browse Ron Ron's wares. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and target. Huh. Cute. Favorite plump white worms, slathered in honey. Once you eat a glazed wiggly, you'll never want you'll never want any other treat. Maybe not. And then frogs on sticks it looks like. Ah, okay. Skewers. Frogs on sticks. Oh you like these. Chewy skewers. Find small frogs hiding under rocks. Spear with stick, then roast over a fire. Crackling on the outside, green on the inside. Perfect for snacking. Alright, man. Well, I'm actually going to be rolling off in a few minutes myself, so give my best to the family. Bread. I call that mush loaf. The middle is stuffed with bitter sweet cactus fruits, so it's even the better dry bread dries out. It's still moist inside. It keeps you going in the heat. That actually might not be a bad idea. And of course, meat of some sort. That's my ever ever burning bounty, made with the best parts of the lizard. Cured with special sp spicy spices. Some find the smell challenging, but it'll warm you up on chilly desert nights. Alright. That was cute. <laughs> they all look tasty, yes? Which to choose? Which to choose? Let's go for the mush loaf. I like the idea of something uh, in the desert being... Uh... Ah, very wise. You won't wither on the sands with a gut full of cactus fruit filling. You have the gold? And done. One Roper Honor buys you 40 loaves of bread. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a, uh, a lot of, lot of bread there. Um, I can't just put some in my bag. Oh my gosh. Will you eat the lot? I'll share the rest. <laughs> our visitor invites us to feast. Let us give her thanks for her great generosity and small appetite. <laughs> 40 loaves of bread's a lot. I don't think you can eat all that. Consider your coin purse cracked. I am pleased to set your custom and Genyo will be pleased that you honored ours. <laughs> Keeping the merchandise down, yes? No returns. Okay. 
Okay, what the hell? Alright, let me go... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because I'll be doing other stuff. Um, so my goal is to only do... Actually, I'll go ahead and finish this quest, and then we'll... And then we'll get ready for the next quest, then. And then I'll stop for the night. I was watching from here, Celessa. You honored our custom with great relish. You'll always be welcome in more soon. If you need anything else in the Amarang, we are here to provide. Gahahaha. <laughs> you have courage, my friend. Ron Rod's wares are more exotic than harmful, but I don't envy you the ability you'll have on the morrow. Right, now that you've eaten, I expect you're eager to get back on the road. Would you mind if we delayed our departure at touch? I have a few deals left to close before I can conclude my business here in Mordzuk. Okay. Oh, offer your services, are you? Aye. Well, it says that would certainly help hurry things along. I have a receipt here for some goods I'd be picking up from the market. All properly paid for. You just need to do the lifting and carrying. Alright. I'll go take care of some last minute hacking events. See you in a bit. You may view the market receipt at any time during this quest by using the relevant item in the key items menu. Alright. So, I will stop here for tonight. Um, my plan is pretty much whenever I'm going to be doing uh, main story quest stuff at all, I will do it on stream. Partially because that way I've got a record of it myself, and partially because, you know, I want, you know uh, people want to see, some people want to see. I thankfully have all the other jobs I can still level up and do other things with, so not really worried about that. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully see you next time. I don't know, this isn't going to be a regularly scheduled thing per se, because nighttime schedules are, are kind of random from us, but uh, I'll try to post on Twitter at least a few minutes beforehand if I can. Um, some days it might just have to be a matter of folks watching on uh, on my, the YouTube uh, archive. But uh, thank you all for joining us, and we will see you next time. Have a good night, folks. Or good morning, I guess, for you folks. See you back on the uh, other side of the world. Talk to you soon.